Hello, I'm Dan from Edimo Electric Bikes, and today I'm just going to quickly run through the Flow app from Bosch that comes with every new Bosch Smart System bike um, that is supplied today. So the Flow app is um, a bit like the apps they had before that just gives you um, a bit of integration with the bike so you can see some information on your bike, um, but it gives you some other nice bits and pieces as well. So I'm just going to open it up on my phone a second. Hopefully um, you can see that. So you can see at the top there it's protected. Now, most important, the reason that this bike is protected, it's got something very special on it. We have actually fitted to it a uh, one of these. Uh, this is a Bosch Connect module. Uh, that's a little device that's got a GPS um, in it and also an alarm. It doesn't come as standard with the recent model bikes. This is something that we provide with all the bikes at um, no cost. And it's a really nice feature um, that just gives you uh, a bit more uh, useful things from the Flow app. And it's part of our um, Edmo Advanced package. So if you want to see more about that, have a look at the uh, Edmo Advanced package and just find out about that. But here we go, looking at the app that comes with it. So we can see at the moment at the top there, it says Dan's e-bike, also known as another bike that I've nicked from the store and I've claimed as my own. So um, this is Dan's e-bike. This is our new Charger 4 GT Vario test bike that has arrived. Um, and you can see it's protected. And then just below there in blue letters, you can see that it is in George Street in Stroud. It's close, it's actually George Street in Nelsworth, but we'll let you off for that one, Bosch. Um, so it knows exactly where the bike is at the moment and it says it's disconnected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn around and switch the bike on a second. Sorry if you haven't looked at the back of my head there, my lack of hair. Um, here we go, you can see it's connecting, it's syncing, just listen. There we go, that's a chirp to say that it's unlocked. So as it was switching the bike on, it knew that my phone was just here um, with Bluetooth, so it would allow the bike to be unlocked and um, not disable it essentially. Um, and we can see now it's ready to go. So we've got a couple of pieces of information. We can see that the battery is currently on 95% and we've got a range of 63 miles. If I press the information button next to that, it's gonna tell us the range that we've got in the different settings. So if we go turbo, sport, auto, turbo, I'm gonna have 31 miles. This is a 750 watt hour battery, just to give you an idea. And what it will do, it will change and the estimation of the range you're gonna get based on the riding that you've been doing. So essentially um, in the short life of this bike it's just been chucked into turbo taken out for laps around the block and brought back in again so um 63 miles in eco um i would normally be expecting that from maybe a 625 watt hour battery i think i'll probably get a little bit more from a 750 but if you um just treat it badly like i have then this is the sort of numbers you can expect so i'm going to close that um Next thing that is down here is custom riding modes. I don't know if you can see this on the screen. Um, now, this is a really, really popular feature that everybody gets really excited about. Um, it allows you to go in and change the way that the motor actually uh, reacts. But don't forget, um, it's always going to be limited to 15 and a half mile an hour. Um, it's always 250 watts because that's what it is. And the maximum torque of these motors is 85 Newton meters. So what we tend to find is everybody just whacks all of those up. So then you're talking about the other um, less obvious changes you can make to uh, the motor. So, so let's um, choose sport and go in and have a look. So we can change the assistance level now. I shouldn't have chosen this one because I can never remember what the percentage is, but in turbo it's 340% assistance, it's eco it's 50% assistance, I can't remember what it is in um, sport mode, but essentially what you can do is you can use this little slider and you can move it up and down. But what's really confusing, it tells us we can go plus five or minus five and I don't know what that is. Um, so I don't know, it's just, it just seems really confusing, but we can obviously go more or less assistance. Um, and then we can choose or change the dynamic of the motor. So how, um, how harsh it is, I guess, when you first press on the pedal. Um, I like this one. When you put this one up to plus five, it comes up with a warning, which has always got to be good, hasn't it? So attention, please note that this affects the acceleration dynamics. It could make controlling your e-bike more difficult. Um, that, that's just saying, put it in five, isn't it? So uh, I'll put it back anyway. Um, so you can change that, that setting. Then the maximum speed, 16 mile an hour, you could change that down. So I guess if you're um, setting one of the lower power settings, you might want the motor to cut out earlier so that you pick up the, um, sorry, you pick up the work, get more exercise or get more range out of your bike. 
Um, and then the last one is the um, talk setting. So you might want to say in some of the lower settings, you just don't want the talk to kick in again for the same reasons to save power or to get more exercise. So you can change those. And what I tended to find um, with this was that I'd go through um, and I'd make all these different changes in there. And actually, afterwards, the settings that came with the standard were pretty good. So there was not much point in changing it. But I'm sure there will be some reasons where people want to change and do some other stuff. So it's a really nice feature to have in there to be able to go and change that. Um, next section down there is then um, mileage. So it says at the moment today, three miles. This is today's mileage. It's not the overall mileage. We've done three miles today. All of that has been in turbo. Nothing in sport, auto, or eco, and none of it in off. So basically, I switched it on. I went and raced around the block a bit and then came back. If I press the little information button, the eye next to that, it's going to bring up, hopefully, if I keep on pressing it, there we go, um, the odometer. So the overall mileage of this bike. So this bike behind me is a brand new bike, test bike from Reese and Muller, um, available here for you to try. So far, it's done uh, five and a half miles, um, and three of those was me playing around on it today. Um, so yeah, useful information. It's quite nice to have the odometer, and they've sometimes been a bit difficult to find where the total mileage of the bike is. So that's a good little feature. This next one, a little bit annoying, Bosch, but I'm going to um, show everybody anyway. Uh, find a certified Bosch e-bike dealer. I have paid <laughs> to be a certified Bosch e-bike dealer. When I click on that, uh, it zooms into the location that we are. Um, I can see well, I can essentially see four Bosch dealers around me. I can know that one of them doesn't exist anymore. Um, and when I zoom in to see the one that looks like me, I can see, come on, show up. It's probably not going to show it at all now. There is somebody just down here. Let's come out and do this again. Um, because I think I moved it. There we go. Okay, just down here. Well, that's brilliant. It doesn't even show that now. So it shows actually my friend Rob, who's down the road. He's an e-bike, um, Bosch e-bike specialist. Um, so he comes up on the map. But me over here, I don't exist at all. So thanks a lot for that, Bosch. Much appreciated. <laughs> so it was worth spending my money um, on your training. Um, so if you do get into trouble when you're out, um, you will be able to find a dealer. So long as they don't disappear off the map when you press the button. Strange. Um, so that useful feature there. Um, it's a feature that's on their website as well. You can go and have a look and find all the dealers that are local to you. Um, it's unlikely that you're going to need to get hold of one when you're out on your bike, but at least you know it's a, it's a handy feature to be able to find them. Um, next thing that's on there, click. so I'm down the bottom of the screen now. I'm going to click on the one that says Ride. Um, so this is going to bring up our sat-nav, essentially, um, for the bike. So if you um, buy a bike that's got a Kiox 300 or a Kiox 500, you can actually unclip that little screen. And in its place, you can put something called a smartphone grip. The smartphone grip will hold your smartphone. Obviously, it will grip it. Um, and you can have it on your handlebars sideways. So what you call that as landscape. Uh, and you can use it as then a sat nav. So if I press the button here, enter ride screen, it's not going to show up well on screen right now. I know because the phone's going to be the wrong way. Um, but you can see all the various information, your speed. You can see the maps. You can see lots of other information, essentially like um, a sat nav would be. So nice little feature there um, to be able to use that. Another really, really good thing on this. So um, obviously, we, I'll show you this first, actually. You can have a look and search places or addresses. So we can do A to B type stuff. Um, I've done a route there saying, get me to Stroud. And we can choose whether we want a scenic route, whether we want the normal commuting route, whether we want an off-road route. Um, and it'll give us um, directions and everything to get there. So that's a nice one. Um, but the one that I like most is where it says my routes just be below that search. So if I press my routes, You'll see here a whole list of uh, routes that I've created in um, Kamut. So all sorts of different stuff that we've done. Um, oh, there's some good fun stuff on that, actually. Um, but th th let's have a look at this one. Edmo uh, Nailsworth showroom, little test ride route around by us. My Kamut account is a is connected so any route i create in there is automatically um, shown in the bosch app so i haven't had to upload it transfer it or anything it's just there i can now hit go and i can start following that so anybody who's used commute before will probably know it's absolutely brilliant it's a great way of getting loads and loads of local routes you don't have to go and plan and uh, just got to be a little bit cautious as to where people have planned and if it's not a uh, standard route if it's not somebody that you know um so yeah so, so that's the sat nav nice little feature on that one next one is statistics so 
same as, I guess, um, things like Strava, when you record your rides and everything, you get loads of information about it. I hate Strava, by the way. Um, I'm not up for competing. It's not my thing. Um, this one, because we've got this um, little um, connect module in here, the GPS tracker, whenever we go out on the bike, it is automatically tracking. So I don't need to remember to press the button to say record and then stop recording and do all that sort of stuff. Every single time I get on my bike, it records it. So if I pop to the shops, it record it. If I go to work, it record it. And so I then get my real mileage that I'm actually doing shown on a map so I can see what's happening. I get to see the statistics for it. Um, I'm a bit nerdy. I love all this sort of thing. And I like to find out what I've actually been doing, where I've been going, how many miles I've done, all this sort of stuff. So there you go. I've clicked on the one that I took just now. It's about half a mile, I think it was. I burnt a whole of 16 calories um, just doing a quick lap of town. Um, took me, what's that, three and a half, four minutes um, to do that. Power, all sorts of other stuff. I can go down the bottom, I can flick through elevation, our speed, our cadence, power, everything. So lo loads of nice handy information that's available. And that's automatically recorded. So there's no trying to remember to start, stop and everything. It's just there, ready to go. So I really like that feature. And then on the last one, there's all the um, settings and everything. So I guess important, I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, the Flow app, um, there are, uh, you have to sign up. So it's a paid thing. Um, I've got the free trial on it. Oh, I'm in a one year free trial. I thought it was a 30 day, even better. Um, the cost of it is $3.99 per month or $34.99 for 12 months. Um, I literally have just signed this um, bike up to me today, like about an hour ago. Um, and I've got, there you go, a, a one year free trial. So that's um, pretty good. And for the cost of 35 quid or $3.99 a month, um, I think it's a bit of a no brainer just to, to carry on paying it afterwards. Um, and then there's various other bits and pieces sort of in here in the, you know, in the background that we want to go and set up but essentially that is the um, flow app um just going to show you one more thing i'm going to try and shut this bike down so i'm just going to switch it off you heard the noise and then you can see it says it's now not connected the next thing it's going to do is it's obviously going to set the alarm as well so we're going to get that it just takes a few seconds to go there we go it says it's protected so now the last thing to do is to try and set the alarm off now obviously what's going to happen with this alarm um it's going to set it off it's going to realize it's me and it's going to stop the horn type noise going off but it should make a noise first of all so um i think this is how you steal a bike <laughs> i'm not i've never been very good at stealing a bike so um let's give it a go whoops oh there we go now it's connecting it knows it's actually me that's stealing it disappointingly um and it's switching all the bike on there you go disarmed it and now you can ride it off so um it's not complicated it's not one of these things that you've got to go through a million and one steps to actually do if my phone wasn't here um, it would have made that beeping noise that we heard first, and then it would have started making a horn noise. So as the um, person who was stealing your bike was disappearing into the distance, um, people would recognize that something wasn't right. And they might stick a gun came through the front wheel or something and try and stop them. Um, but worst case scenario, um, it's got a tracker in it. So there you go, it's locked again. Um, it's got a tracker on it. So at least you're going to be able to find that bike further down the line. Okay, so that, that's our quick run through of the um, Flow app. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I think one of the best things about it is when you've got it connected to that um, thingy in there, that um, Bosch uh, connect module with the GPS and alarm, but there's some other nice stuff in there to play with anyway. Okay, that's it. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.